Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I got a unboxing uh, or unpackaging video if you want to call it uh, today. Today is the 9th of January 2020 and right here is the shipped uh, welcome package. Uh, we got it yesterday on the 8th but doing the video now. Uh, I just wanted to get into the little side hustles I've been doing. Um, I've been doing uh, Food Dudes since Let's see here. My first order was on July 27th of 2019. So that's what I've been doing uh, lately. I haven't posted a whole lot. Uh, one, because my PC downstairs has been down for a long, long time. I have a bunch of videos like on that drive. Like I think it's the H HDMI that's not um, not reading or I have, to, I have to get a new port or something like that. But I bought a Dell XPS right here. And we've just been using the Insta360 software, editing software, along with photos. Because they don't come with Windows Movie Maker anymore for uh, uh, Windows PCs. Uh, let's see, what else? And I've been doing DoorDash just a little bit after um, Food Dudes. Food Dudes came first, they came to me. I applied for both around the same time, and uh, Food Dudes just happened to get back quicker. Um, all of them doing like a background check. Actually had an interview with... Food dudes didn't have one with DoorDash. There's not a like a like a HQ or like a like a building or any department for DoorDash around our area. So there's no orientation of of that whatsoever. Or whatsoever. And I think that they just sent me the card. There's a video on it. I posted a card and a bag, and that's pretty much it. The uh, instructions for shipped were a lot easier. And they were more step-by-step -step than DoorDash. DoorDash, they didn't tell me what app I needed. Um, there's a brief tutorial on the card, but that was pretty much it. So shipped, I applied, let's see. I applied for this on the 18th of December, uh, 2019, and got back to me after doing the whole interview. The interview process was a lot more, I would say, intensive. Like, they have questions. Um, they make you do the virtual like video you can do it on your phone I did it on my laptop so I used the uh, the uh, webcam for the first time and you just record your answers there's three different questions and you can redo them until you're satisfied and then post them um, so that was kind of more than what either of these were asking for DoorDash or food dudes so we're gonna see what's inside this welcome package uh, S for small, I ordered a small shirt. I don't want a super large one. I can get away with using small or medium, but we want small. So up, right off the bat, oh tags. I'm not a big fan of tag shirts. What we got here? We got the shipped shirt, and it says on the back, uh, "Your groceries delivered, ship.com." And I don't, I don't get the story. I'd have to research the story on. Why is, there, why is there like a UFO, an alien UFO on there? What is that? Like you get shipped off? Whatever. I don't know. I don't know the whole story about that. But uh, For you guys who don't know, Shipped is a uh, delivery service as well as a like grocery shopping kind of thing. So you'll get orders. Another gig, gig app, side hustle again. Um, you'll get orders through your phone and you'll decide if you want to pick them up. Whether it's like groceries, we have like a couple groceries, we have like a Target, uh, I think there's a PetSmart or a Petco, one of the two, and you just pick up what they want, and then there's a delivery window, which you need to, the custom request for you to drop it off. And so that's it, nothing else. And then we got Welcome to the Family, shipped, I think this is just telling us which app to get, which is a little bit more than what DoorDash did. They didn't tell me what app to get. And so there's another um, email I got from Ship, which was pretty nice, telling me the instructions for that. Um, what else is there? There's You get your background check from Checker, C-H-E-C-K-R. That's a pretty large website that does background checks. Um, and, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. They got back to me. When did they get back to me? Checking through the emails. Um, so you sign documents, and what was it? 
invitation, they give you an interview, the three questions, uh, you fill out different stuff. Then there's quizzes you take, like they do a training program, which is pretty cool. And the one bad thing is I was doing it, and I was about three-fourths of the way done, and then I had to go do something, and I come back to it, and one time it worked. I went to the same exact spot. I was taking the, you know, the tutorial stuff, and I got back to the same spot I was at. But then the second time, I had to start from the beginning. I'm like, oh, no. So you have to answer questions. You have to watch the videos, or at least skip through the videos to the end again before it lets you proceed to the next part. So... That was a that was a pain in the butt. Um, Saturday, January fourth, is that when they got back to me? Uh, there's a welcome one. Awesome news, you are now part of Shift. When was this sent? So this was January third. So from the 18th of December to the third. Uh, what is that? Like 12, 12 days, thirteen days. Um, 13 and what I say the third it's about 16 days or almost like two weeks and I got approved and what's this? the shipped shopper shipped corporate worldwide um, logistics where is this Kentucky or Birmingham Alabama I think Birmingham is where they sent it from so let's see what's in here I think this is a card maybe which I'm surprised I didn't get a bag. I thought I was going to get a bag. Like, there's something on the, the thing that you get a bag. But I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Maybe I'll get one later. But, yeah, this, yeah, I got a card. Um, welcome to your shipped card. Just a Visa prepaid card. Um, use this card to pay for orders you received in the shipped shopper app. You are only authorized to make purchases for items at the store listed on the shopping list on the app. No other charges are authorized. If you lose your card, there's a number you can call them back. Um, I have to download the app and then there's another tutorial thing I need to do. Uh, let's see, when you're ready to check out, swipe the card so when you get all your groceries you can pay for it. There are two. There's a couple options you can get. Hopefully one of them is a lot of pickup stuff. I know Target has the, the pick up and go thing where you order it online and then you can go to the store and it, it sends you an email when it's ready and then it's, you just go in and pick it up they also have this now like um drive through oh, it's almost a drive through it's like a pickup where you don't even leave your car and someone will bring it to you and then this one hopefully this is another option where delivery drivers will pick it up from target and deliver it to the customer's house or location of choice so that's what I'm hoping to do. I'm not a big fan of grocery shopping altogether. Sometimes it's just a hassle, but I know what I'm signing up for. And so the hours I'm going to choose, they're going to probably be later at night and just like less busy. Um, that's what I'm hoping for. Again, I'm going to still be doing uh, food delivery videos such as Food Dudes and, and DoorDash. I have tons of videos I just uploading um, slowly, just getting them edited and pushed out. So stay tuned for that uh, we just got this welcome stuff I'm still kind of kind of salty I didn't get a bag though but I can always use the DoorDash bags and the food dudes bags or carrier I don't know if you call it the food dude I still have to show you guys that enormous little carrier it's almost like a box I mean it's kind of maneuverable but it doesn't fit in the trunk of my G35 that's how big it is. And sturdy, I guess, too, because you can't really, I don't know. You can't really move it too much to fit in the trunk. So I got to get that app as well. Um, that's it for this welcome video to shift, I guess. So uh, once I get that app, I think I can start scheduling times and figuring out different orders. I know there's a 10, 10 order minimum, like a newbie session or a, a uh, I don't know, like a freshman to uh, shipped, I guess if you want to call it. So I have to do those 10 deliveries before I get like, not really stacked orders, more like back-to-back -back orders. So you just be getting like single orders, and then once that's done, you might get the next one. You won't get like multiple items such as that. So um, kind of 
kind of curious how this works. Um, I had the Insta360 video with the the two selfie sticks. So you're on one right now, just a small handled one. And then there's the larger one that extends like super, super pole, you know, baton weapon thing um, that I can do as well. And th I'm thinking I could do some shop alongs or take it actually into the store. And then you'll kind of be just like hovering around, which I think would be pretty cool. It's almost like a drone-like system, it looks like. You're just following me. Again, probably pretty awkward to other people watching. But whatever. Um, if it gets me videos and, and I'm having fun, you know, so be it. I can always just clip it to the cart, which would be pretty cool. Because then it's not as, you know, just a camera <laughs> just following me around. Me just talking to a camera. Um, so I could just, you know, clip it to the cart where one, you're facing me and I can edit it where you're circling around to see what item I'm picking and what for. So there's some different options I'm thinking about. Um, should be pretty fun, I think. Uh, I told my family that I'm doing it as well. And the main thing that I'm doing these side hustles is one, um, it's a fun hobby to do for me. Um, again, two, you know, the extra money doesn't always... It, isn't bad but uh the main reason i was doing it was because i like cruising around in my cars so that's another hobby i have as well um it's just driving around having fun just you know just being in my cars so then i thought about you know why don't i just get paid while i'm doing it and then i thought about doing uber i thought about doing lyft i'm like you know i'm pretty protective about my car and i don't want like drunk people or like random people, you know, they could break anything. Just, you know, I don't want that, that liability. You know, again, drunk people, they're just doing whatever. They're messing up your car, breaking stuff, puking, just, you know, not respecting your property. So I was like, well, I'll handle food. And that's where I started watching some DoorDash videos, some Grubhub videos. I still watch them, like, even though I'm doing them, I still think it's pretty fun and I guess I've kind of joined um, the community with the watching videos and, and why not and learning from others, but I think it's pretty fun. And you learn a thing or two from people who are experienced at it. I mean, why else would you go to Google or YouTube is pretty much you can learn anything on the internet. Uh, one, I learned how to, um, to drive a manual car from YouTube actually. Uh, I took one other practice session with my friends in a parking lot to drive a manual didn't stall it, but from watching those videos, I kind of know like when to shift the gears, how to shift, and whatnot. So that was pretty cool. And now I have, you know, I've had two manuals in my lifetime. Um, and back to the automatic, if you want to call it automatic, but the the Tesla. Uh, so I think that's it. Uh, there was one more thing I wanted to add, but now I can't think of it. Um. I think the let's see the majority of why I did these videos was because it's just the main hobby, but you know just cruising around having fun. Um, if I think of it, I'll edit it in here, but I don't know. I can't think of it right now. So, thanks for watching. Peace.